I'm Fraser Hines, loosely described as an actor, I suppose. I've been for <coughs> quite a few years now, so they haven't found me out as yet. And here we are at the Lincoln Theatre doing uh, Cinderella. In the December of 1999, we took our cameras along to the Theatre Royal Lincoln to follow the production of Cinderella for the four days running up to opening night. My name is Chloe Newsom and I'm playing Cinderella. My name's Howard Heathen and I play Baron Harlow. I'm Carol Cleveland and I'm playing the Fairy God. My name is Sterling Roger and I play Nutmeg, who's one of the ugly sisters. My name is Richard Dax, I play Saffron, who's the other ugly sister. Oh no you don't. Oh yes I do. Oh no you don't. Oh, yes, Enough do. of this dance. My name's Hayley and I'm the choreographer. My name's Keith Richards, I'm the musical director for the band of my name is Chris Olney, I'm the theatre's chief electrician. I'm Karen Andrews and I'm the sound engineer. Uh, Chris Reno and I do everything. On this particular one I wrote this uh, and I'm also directing it. And I run this little hall. Lincoln's a lovely theatre, it's more like a family theatre and it's the same people year in, year out. So it's just like coming home really. I love it, it's a beautiful theatre, absolutely beautiful. I like old theatres, I don't like these new, big modern horrible things, you know, so this is a theatre and it's lovely. Now what I'm going to do now, before we start, I'm going to get a table, get the drawing on the front of the stage, so we've now got something to work to. Before we bring too much stuff out, we're going to lay a floor, then once we've built the floor, then we can start to assemble the flies above the stage, get, get everything up then before we start to build underneath. I've done Lincoln about seven times now, on and off. Uh, I was here last year, the year before, and then I was here about three years before that. This will be number 17, I think. <laughs> I've been doing Pandy forever. So we've got a bit of Peterborough pantomime here, and a, and a bit of uh, Lewisham. We're going to mix them together. Uh, hopefully when we get them in situ and the painters will come up, then they'll repaint them. No, it's not a brand new set. I'd like to let people think perhaps it is, but it has been used before. But the cast this year was super. They really get on well. Everybody's mixing in and helping each other. And no fallouts yet. <laughs> we'll see on Thursday. The tempers are getting fraught, but no, it's great at the moment. What we're going to do today is that uh, because the show's getting nearer and nearer to its first performance, everybody wants a fair chance of rehearsal. So tonight, the band, they've got their band call, will be getting the scenery up, hopefully getting some of the props sorted out. And as well as all that's happening, the actors start to move in. So it looks as if everybody will be in each other's way, but it, it will be organised chaos. And here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> I should get you lot doing this. That's a really good idea. You can all help make the slosh. I need one Oh, darling. Later. We've all been fighting over who's going to help uh, Cinderella with her quick change, yes. All the cast and crew, all the men from the crew, but uh, she's got a lady dresser instead. <laughs> You think, oh my God, we'll never do this. But the more you do, the more pantomimes you do, the more you get used to that and you sort of panic a little bit less. But you still, on the night, think, oh dear, oh dear, it's, it's chaotic. Always chaotic, but it always works. It's always magical on the night. We're just tidying up now. I'm going to clear the stage management corner so we can put all the books and the cues and the switches in the out. Uh, they're checking the uh, radio mics now. They're putting the sound up for the microphones. Uh, we're actually getting ready to start a technical run through. I think we're getting there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. These days, the days before a show like this, you know, they're always like this, aren't they? They're just mad. People will start. Tempers will start fraying, if not later today, then certainly tomorrow, because we've got it, we're opening on Thursday for a charity preview. But it's going fine, yeah, it's fine. It'll be okay. We'll get there. It always comes Come together. Thursday. Somehow it always comes together. 
Because we have 10 days to put a show on, we rely on the professionalism of everybody uh, to come out, as it were. It soon sorts the men out from the boys, but uh, we've got no boys, we're all men, as they say. It still shocks me and uh, amazes me that they put anything on in 10 days. I think it's quite ridiculous, but if it works, then it works. And, uh, and it's all very tense and exciting, but um, I think it's in very good shape. It's now half past 11 on uh, Wednesday morning and we're still teching, we've just started to tech act two. I feel as if, that, uh, and I'm sure everybody else does, that even though we're getting on top of it, we are still a bit behind, you know, at the technical side, we've still a lot more work to do. We haven't got the rest of the scenery, in fact we still one or two scenes that's a bit, uh, we might change our minds about. Uh, we're a few costumes missing and bits of set missing, it's, it's the, usually it's the same story every year. But um, I would like to have been, I reckon I'm half a day behind at the moment. But you'll, we'll catch it up. They'll be working till two o'clock in the morning, I guess. What is the show tonight? It's Macbeth, dear. Oh, oh my God, he said it. That's it, what doom will all do. Things are going very well. We're just about to sort of tech run the second act, and then we'll rehearse the whole panto this afternoon and light, and then uh, another uh, go through the show in the morning, a dress rehearsal in the afternoon, open tomorrow night. This is the first time a lot of people have actually seen Act Two for the first time. No, we're behind, but we're still smiling. We'll get there. <laughs> Well, it was great fun. Uh, we had uh, full houses for every show, and everybody seemed to really enjoy themselves. It was—I um, I was a bit lukewarm about it when I saw the script and the early rehearsals, but um, it definitely proved to be very successful. Well, it was a great success. Uh, five, six weeks, or what it was—seven weeks. The the pantomime. It does was a great favour because it, we're, we're full. We're full nearly uh, every performance. And word gets about that the Theatre Royal in Lincoln's doing pantomimes and it gets people in, it brings the children in, of course. We had a bit of pony trouble a couple of nights. I'm afraid the ponies disgraced them a couple of times. And apart from an over-enthusiastic dry ice machine, which filled the stage right up with smoke, you couldn't see a damn thing. Um, lighting point of view, very straightforward. Nice, easy show for me, but I'm afraid the ponies did let the side down a couple of nights. The other problems were uh, just things that do with the show, very simple things like props missing at the wrong time or somebody's sort of misplaced uh, part of their costume or a bit of scenery got broken at the last minute. Uh, nothing major and no problems that any of the audience would ever even know existed. So it was an excellent show, good fun, nice company um, and that's it really. You've got, look, you've got a whole list here, look, look, there you go, look, read that, there's a list. Hold on, where, where, where did you get to? Where did you, uh, the, the, oh, and disagreements, well, what do you think of the Theatre Royal? That's the next one, that's the next one, what do you think of the Theatre Royal? Uh, rubbish, horrible place, don't come, honestly, it's crap. Uh, why do you think Panto is so, why do I think Panto, I'll answer that, that's a good question. Why do you think Panto is so popular? Panto is popular because A, it's something that audiences can get involved in. It's fun. Kids like it, all the jokes. I mean, people know the jokes, but they come because they like to hear them again. They're so corny, and uh, it's, it's two hours of good fun. Dad enjoys it, Mum enjoys it, the kids, the granny. It's a nice, it's nice family entertainment. There's something about the magic of live theatre. You, you watch pantomime on telly, you've got the stars, you know, so it does Yeah. It's not the same. No. It's British tradition, and uh, as much as sometimes it can be quite cringeable, it, it really is, it's got, all these fantastic elements. It wouldn't be a, a, new, a British Christmas without the pantomime.